What's up everybody? I am back again with another video and today we'll be going on a different reaction. So I'm gonna read the title for y'all. Hold on, what's up? Men are tired of poor treatment and rejection and realizing that having a passport is better. So I've I, I watched this video before because I'm gonna see because I'm gonna react to this for y'all and let y'all get y'all know to understand understand because like i heard about so much shit going on about between men are taking passports or dating different women in, in different countries so whether we like i ain't gonna lie to you having a passport if you want to date different women in different countries that's 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 like everybody else's decision who decides whoever they want to date so anyway let's get into this video and also i forgot and also don't forget like comment Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get it. Stingy men, <laughs> Jamaican men, <laughs> nonchalant men, <laughs> men with no car, <laughs> groovy guys, <laughs> men with high tops, <laughs> men below six foot, <laughs> hood niggas. Dreadheads. What? Man of God. What? Margot Men. What? Musician. What? Six fourteen nigga. What? <laughs> men that aren't stingy. What? Obsessive men. Fruit guy. <laughs> I'ma just say it like this. I don't believe that the single men that are in the metro Atlanta area want to date. I want to try today. I think um, Atlanta has created a, a environment where the men feel like they can just pick whatever the lowest hanging fruit is. And the reason I feel like that is because, um, so I'm hosting a speed dating, um, but I've sold almost twice as many tickets for women as I have for men. And the man don't really even seem to care to buy them. Like y'all be, it's, and it'll be men that are on my page that are like, "Oh, I'm single. Oh yeah, I'm single. I'm looking. I can't find somebody." Weirdos. I want to know why old men approach me. Like, eighty percent of the men that approach me are in their forties and fifties. And I'm literally 25 and I look like a baby. Like, if you were to see me in person, I have a baby face, like I look young. So I don't know why, well, I know why a lot of men are sick, but yeah, like younger men don't approach me as much. And I feel like it's making me feel like insecure. Like, I'm like, what, what's the issue? Like, why do they feel so comfortable approaching someone who's obviously like almost, you're double my age, like, um, I just had a video, like the last video that I had that went viral, um, got posted on Instagram and a bunch of like old men found um, my Instagram. And so I just have been getting countless DMs from men that are literally in their 50s talking about, hey, baby, hey, pretty. I'm like, this is so, where is, where are like the 26 through 32 year olds at like that's the age range i want to date not 40s and 50s it's just it's just so weird welcome to the dating apocalypse sweetheart guys your own age don't want to be bothered with you so all you left with is old guys <laughs> you did this to yourself Now, why would I want to deal with the American beast when you have all of this available? <laughs> oh, and in case you have a problem with pay to play, remember they're all field fours anyway. 
Filipino Here wife for passport you rose. have to do to have a happy marriage as a Filipino wife. Now, before you start judging, wait till the end because this is just how it is in my culture, so please don't judge. Okay, number one, you have to keep the house impeccably clean, okay? You gotta make sure the toilet is spotless. Make sure that you pick up after yourself. There never should be any dishes in the sink like ever. Okay, number two, you have to make sure that dinner is always ready exactly like they like it. Make sure you ask in advance so that dinner is hot and ready when they get home. Number three, having a, mas a massage in the morning and the night is really important, so make sure that you massage the feet, the shoulders, wherever the stress areas are for at least 45 minutes. But note that it could also go up to two hours depending on how stressed they are. And that's fine because that makes a marriage happy. And then last, but certainly not least, make sure their coffee is ready in the morning. That's really important because they work really hard and you wanna make sure that they have everything they need to succeed in their day. Black Ram 313 back at you again. You know why? It's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video. Real Peel video. Talk about a few things, man. Right off the back, let's jump right into it. It isn't easy to first accept that if you are a regular guy, that the subject, the creature is not attracted to you. It's not easy. Let me tell you my own story, briefly, because in my story is your story, possibly, depends on what type of guy you are. And if you're watching this channel, this might resonate with you. But do you remember, as a youngster, as a teenager, and in your 20s, and even maybe in your early 30s before you realize how terrible, or I should say, until how terrible the dating scene has become, but do you realize that we did everything for the girls? From being a young man, if we playing basketball, we will play with our shirts off so the girls could see us. We would do our push-ups so the girls could see us. Wear our hair a certain way, do a certain thing so that the girls could see us. We wanted to attract the ladies. In fact, that's what we thought about a large amount of our time, other than you know playing ball. But even that had an element of the ladies with that because some guys know that ladies come to the court and watch you play basketball and you're going to show out for the ladies we're so intertwined and wrapped up and focus on attracting them so much so that do you remember because i remember going to stores grocery stores malls gas stations clinics any public place any public space when i walk in there i am looking at the ladies to see if i can catch someone's eye always looking to meet a new lady always prospecting always hoping always got on whatever kind of gear i want to have on just in case i walk past a young lady and i can catch her eye speak to her and eventually date her and of course make that my girlfriend either in monogamy or on the team is what i mean Thanks. always always prospecting everywhere i go i'm always looking Library, bookstore, looking, 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 man. Dollar store, looking. Every time I walk past a woman, I try to see if she's going to give me eye contact. And it was euphoric because I would always go out with the hope of getting a new number. For me, there was nothing like hearing the voice of a new lady, man. Exhilarating. Pleasurable, man meeting a new lady and the prospects of having more with that young lady. But as time went on more and more, although my success rate was always very low in the field, very low, it became lower and lower and lower. To the point where, hey, it's a waste of time to go and prospect out in the field anymore, at least for me. Maybe you're a handsome guy, maybe it works for you. And to that, excellent. But for me or someone like me, it just became more and more difficult because more and more rejection. Now, I'm set up to take the rejection because I don't take the rejection personally. Look, I'm not going to easy going to say this because and I'm going to say this to y'all. When I was growing up, I get rejected all the time. I deal with that. I had been getting rejected for like a long time. Like, but sometimes like, like sometimes like 
that most that most girls like was like most girls who like most girls was like my age like they really wasn't attracted to me because they was attracted to other different boys instead of me because it was kind of hard it was kind of hard for me because like I was just a different I, I the reason why they hated me for a reason and not because because I was ugly the only reason why they was mad at me because I was a different person but and I'm gonna say this to you we're all just different people are finding true love and finding the right person to suck who who is going to suck you who you really are in person not how the way you look but it became a time to where this is not worth the effort and i came to that conclusion not because i was rejected and hurt but because logically this is not efficient this is a waste of time because as a human being all you have is time so this is not a weak video this is about the real pill. This is about being wise. This is about managing your time. So if you thought that this was going to be a crybaby video, you're wrong. Right. The real pill is for power. And this is the knowledge of such. So through rejection and being re retired of that rejection, I said, this is not efficient. It's not efficient. Now, don't get me wrong. And maybe this is a contradiction. I am human. Rejection never feels good. But when you come to expect the rejection, it's just a process. Now, I remove myself personally from the process. In fact, that's the only way it could work, removing yourself from the process. But that's something I teach in consultations. Um, I don't get many of those anymore. But my point is, is that over time I said, no, this is a waste. And I realized all of this time, all of my life, almost 10 times out of 10, every now and then, maybe every 100 places I go, I might get one lady's attention and one number. And it went from a uh, one out of 100 to one out of 500 maybe, to look like that's not worth any kind of effort stepping to a lady and trying to speak to her. And I get shot down most of the time when it comes to having a number. Thanks. Rejected most of the time when asking for a number. But that's the game, and you get tired of playing that game. And I also realized that, wait a minute, most ladies aren't attracted to regular guys. That's true. What is a regular guy? A guy who's not six feet tall. A guy who doesn't make six figures. I'm gonna describe a guy. Let's say a guy is a um, city bus driver. Shout out to the city bus drivers. And he makes, you know, let's say let's say about 50k a year, right? Been on his job for about 15 years, got seniority, got some raises, works in a major city, and he gets about 50k a year, okay? Enough to uh, furnish and rent a two-bedroom apartment in a decent area, not too great. But not too bad. He may drive, if he's smart, <laughs> a Toyota or a Honda, but more than likely he drives maybe uh, a Camry, an Avalon, or something like that. I'll, go, I'll even go with an Accord. <laughs> Those are reliable cars. You know, that's what thinking men do, right? But anyway, and the guy pays his bills on time. He's about five foot seven. Um, he has a degree, but it's an associate's degree. And again, he's been on his job for 15 years. And he's thinking about, hey, you know, it's enough people here that's new. I think I'm going to become a, a supervisor soon. And all he has to do is apply for it. He'll sure to get it. And it may make him a little bit more money, but nothing like six figures, maybe a bump of 10K a year. So he has goals and aspirations, but hey, he's making a living. Not everybody can be the doctor. Not everybody can be the lawyer. Not everybody can be the baller. Not everybody can be the millionaire. Regular, everyday people. That's what was that song? I love everyday people. Everyday people, everyday person. But in this society, you are made to feel less than and wrong <laughs> for being a regular guy. And I realized, hey, they are not attracted to regular guys. So not only am I invisible, if I try to be visible, I'm wasting my time. In fact, when I really go back and analyze the way I was treated by the ladies when I was trying to approach many of them. Many of them didn't even see me. Didn't even see me, especially when I cut my dreadlocks. Once I cut the dreadlocks, they didn't even see me. 
because I was just a regular guy. The dreadlocks gave me a sort of pookie's edge. I liked the style. I didn't care about the pookie stuff. Mine was more about consciousness. Uh, the pookie stuff was more about looking the part. Anyway, but once I cut the hair, I'm like, wow, I'm invisible, just like I was before I got the hair. <laughs> it's like they didn't even see me. Now, I made sure that I stopped being affected by it. See, I was once affected by it. That's why I can talk about it. It did hurt my feelings to be invisible. Yo, that was the same shit. That was the same shit happening to me back then. Like, it was like between the age, be, between the age of 15 and 16 and 17. Like, when I did have, I did have my dreadlocks at that time. Like, when I did cut my dreadlocks off, people started treating me like shit. And like, and I'm gonna say this to you. When I cut my dreadlocks off, they started rejecting me. That I feel the same way how he feel about this shit. And I feel terrible when he's going through all the rejections that he's going through. Like, that's just kind of messed up. And I'm going to say this too, but this man, he did not deserve any of that. He did not deserve to get rejected. Like, if they, because it's just that the other type of different women in generation, they not going to accept who they really are as a person. But I'm going to say this to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my opinion. I'm going to stick, I'm going to stand on my opinion. My opinion is we got good people, we got bad people, but but we got good women, we got good men out, out here on this earth are finding true love. They don't care. Even most even, even good men, even good women don't care about money. They don't care about cars. They don't care about none of this shit. Even most men don't care about sex. They even because I'm gonna say this to you, we're all living in a different world, but the type of generation that we living in now, it just kind of, it's kind of making it hard. It's kind of making it hard for men and women just to find the right person. That's how it is. And I'm gonna say this to you: I might be a different person, but at least I don't go. At least I don't go around, go around not getting my feelings, getting rejected by a whole bunch, like a whole bunch of women. And I'm gonna say this to you, and I, and I'm gonna say this to you, like it's just that they need. It's just that. All good, it's just that good, good women and good men, they de they both deserve better. But it's just that the other type of women and the type of men are not looking for a husband or not looking for a wife. It's just different to me. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but it's just that, it's just that to me, it just like, it, it does make a good point. I can support men and women for dating different people for dating different people in countries. That's how it is. I feel bad. But I learned it's their problem, not mine. So I fixed that about myself and I try to help others to fix that about themselves. Yeah. If they're indeed struggling with it. But I realized that we like them way more than they like us. If you're not exceptionally tall and handsome, I think they're repulsed by you. They treat me like a smelly homeless man. I'm being for real. Right. Because uh, they, they won't even speak back. And I'm not crying about that. I'm just realizing this and acting accordingly. So not only would you not speak back, not only would you look past me and don't even know I'm there, <laughs> if I did try to say something, you'll look at me with discontent and disdain. This is why we don't approach anymore pack squad right we don't need to approach anymore because you shouldn't have to subject yourself uh to such a um how can i say it humiliation if you take it to heart anyway and even if you don't take it to heart and it's not humiliation to you to get rejected well i don't think the creature is worth approaching to be rejected by such a one who let's get it they're the worst of the worst anyway the subject is the worst of the worst anyway so you're not getting anything for your effort. You're not winning any prize. It's not like you're going to get a great person. It's not like you're going to get a loyal, supporting, chaste wife out of it. It's not like you're going to get that. What you're going to get is student loan debt, attitude, bodies, baby daddies, and all other issues. Complete liability. Thus, a complete waste of your time. It's not worth it anymore. So we're giving up, getting our passports and moving on. We're invisible. Then it's okay that we remain such because something happened. Instead of being stuck 
complaining about it here in the West, feeling bad about it, or having strategies to cope with it, get your passport. Problem solved. Not perfect, but it's way better than going after undesirables anyway. Black Realm 313, I'm out. Wow. Wow, that's I ain't gonna lie. Look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but this man, but this man is speaking the truth about like because it's just that it's just that people gotta understand this. Like it's just that because guess what? Like in, in like in my in like in my in like I'm gonna have to say this in a different way because like it's just that I ain't gonna lie, men they have their rights to date Mister to date different women in different countries. And most women that I will, and most women are not gonna start, are not going to accept their men who they really are in person. Because guess what? It's the type of women are looking for, are looking for drama. And they, because I'm gonna say this to you, in my, in my opinion, in this generation now, between, between women who don't want to get a job, between men who don't want to take responsibilities. Let me say to get a like to get a job or get a car or get a house because guess what? It's just that we are all just different people are finding the right person. And like and I'm gonna say this to you, but it's just it's just that the generation is making it hard for men because guess what? Like I don't I just don't understand because and like I had a hard life. I had a hard making decision. I'm trying to find the right person who doesn't care about money, who doesn't care about shit what other what other men do. Because like I'm gonna say this too. Men deserve more love instead of instead of getting their feelings, instead of explaining the women how they feel. It's just the other type of women who don't care about who don't who don't want to communicate, who don't want to work things out, who who also wants to get who get I'm gonna say who they also they want to get whatever they want. If they not if they not bringing nothing to the table, they not ready for a relationship. They just looking for a baby daddy. They just looking for a Pookie and a Ray Ray. And I'm gonna say this to y'all in my opinion because like and I'm gonna say this to you, life is too short for all that. And I'm gonna say this to you, that's a lot of fine ass women in the different in different in different countries. I want to get a passport. I want to do. I, I just want to date different women. But I was lucky that I put because I had been dating the same woman for the past eight nine years, and I can lie to you, she was the only person who wanted because who wanted a family, who also wanted a husband, like to protect her and protect her ki and also protect and also protect the kids too. And I'm gonna let y'all know this. Because and things are not gonna work out for women out there in the U.S. in the United States. Get your passport, move on with your life, and don't complain. And I'm gonna let y'all know that that's that's some real shit. Because you gotta do what's best for you, and and for your future. If you're looking for somebody who is beautiful, who accepts you, who you really are in person, because guess what? It's the other women, it's the other type of women in generation don't care about that. Because man, that's how it's gonna be. They chose to be miserable. When well, you out there having a good life, guess what? That's on them. We're all, and I'm gonna say this to y'all: we're all not perfect. That's how it is. This is crazy. So anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video, and also show support. I want everybody to go check out this video and like listen to this man. Like this man is telling some real shit. Like about about a lot of about that's a lot a lot of shit going on between men about make, making a making a good reason uh taking their passports and going and going and like going out to different countries to date different women and i'm gonna say this to y'all this brother speaking the truth y'all this brother is speaking the truth let y'all know that so and also and also i want to thank y'all guys for watching this video you know what to do go crazy in the comments like i'm gonna say leave a like leave a like and also hit the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and also i will see you guys in the next time video peace